Hey what is up guys, this is a tutorial on how to do CMYK color separation with white under base in photoshop for screen printing. Here's the image we are going to use. It has a lot of different colors making it perfect for a CMYK print. We will also create a white under base if it's going to be printed on shirts of different colors. Let's get started. If you want to follow along, download the image from the link in the description. I'll be using the Aftones actions and the CMYK actions to speed up the process. You can download these from the link in the description if you want. If you haven't set up the actions yet, watch the video on setting up and running these actions. Make sure the name of the layer is anything except artwork. The CMYK actions will create a layer called artwork. The actions will give errors if they find another layer with the same name. So make sure to name the layer anything except artwork. Right now it's layer 1 so I'll leave it as it is. Now let's start the CMYK color separation. We will create a white under base from the CMYK channels. We will use the CMYK actions to speed up the process. I'll skip the image enhancement actions as you already know how to do these steps. But if you don't you can learn from the video in the link in the description. Make sure to select the layer in the layers panel on the RGB channels. Next run this action. Step 1 convert to CMYK mode. Don't merge. We have got the CMYK channels. To create a white under base, duplicate the black channel. We need to invert the black channel data only in the artwork areas and not in the background areas. So let's make a selection of the artwork by control clicking on layer 1. Next in the duplicated channel, hit control plus i to invert the selection. If you are using Mac, Command plus I. Deselect the selection. Now to contract the white under base, bring out the levels adjustment by running the levels action. By watching the preview, drag the highlight slider to the left to contract the white under base. Hit OK to apply the changes. Now we can convert the channels to halftones. Make sure the artwork layer and the CMYK channels are selected and visible. Now run this action, step 2, set resolution for halftones. I'll set the resolution to 600. Next run this action, step 3, convert to CMYK halftones. Set the output resolution to the same as the input resolution. Set the frequency according to the mesh count you use for screens. I'll set it to 55. Don't change the angle value. Repeat this process for all the channels. Alright, we have got CMYK halftones. To convert the white under base to halftones, we will use the halftones actions. The angle of CMYK black is 45 degrees, so we need to convert the white under base to inverted halftones at 45 degrees. Make sure the white base channel is selected in the channels panel. Next run this action, make inverted halftones from channel. Output resolution same as input resolution. Here I'll set the same LPI 55 that I set for the CMYK channels. Change the angle value to 45. We have got the white base halftones. I'll rename this channel to white under base. Double click on the channel. Change the color to white. RGB values 255, 255 and 255. Change the solidity to 100%. Now let's see how to see the halftone separations preview. Let's duplicate this document. Then duplicate the CMYK channels. Let's change the duplicated channels to spot channels.
create a t-shirt color channel by using this make t-shirt color channel action we will arrange the colors in the print order starting with the t-shirt color followed by the white under base next yellow magenta cyan and finally black We have got a rosette pattern with CMYK half tones. Let's zoom in and check. Let's select all the spot channels and apply a Gaussian blur to make the half tone dots look merged. I'm holding shift and clicking on the spot channels. Next, go to Filter, Blur, then choose Gaussian Blur. Radius value of 2 pixels. Now, let's zoom in and check the preview. It looks nice. This document is only for previewing, so we can close it. Now, to move the CMYK half tones to layers, make sure the artwork layer and the CMYK channels are selected. Then run this action. Step 4 move CMYK half tones to layers. To move the white underbase channel to layer, select it in the channels panel and run the move from channel to layer action. I'll rename it to white under base. Now we can delete the other layers, change the image mode to grayscale, add registration marks, text layers and take printouts. If you want to learn how to do CMYK separation manually and save the color separations as a PDF to share with others, I've made a video on these topics. The video links are in the description. So this is how we do CMYK color separation with a white under base in Photoshop for screen printing. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any doubts, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be happy to help. Thanks guys. I'll see you in another video. Take care.